me in the whip, ride with her. Hey, sipping something, bumping big, hypnotized with her. Pray you get that job in Tampa. That's only four hours away. Take a car, take a plane, baby, whichever is faster. Oh, whichever one is in a household. Oh, damn, yeah, man. Oh, never knew, no, I never knew. Y'all, that was a 10 out of 10 experience. currently in Tampa so yeah I just made it to my hotel room I lost the bag to my wings and it's literally sticking me but the battery's blinking as well <laughs> chaotic vlog is starting off crazy but yeah I've made it to my hotel room I want to show you guys what the room looks like it's very nice in here quite quaint if I say so myself but it's very nice in here it's clean it's cozy y'all know i'm a hotel snob and i love when we get a good hotel and a good layover because it's 30 hours 30 hours in tampa so i did find this pottery place where i can take a pottery class if you don't know i have been wanting to take a pottery class forever so i found it on tiktok about a week and a half ago and I just so happened to end up getting the temple layover. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be able to take a pottery class tomorrow. We do have a 30 hour layover and temple is lit. It's a lot to do. It's a lot to do in temple. And maybe, just maybe, I'll go to the mall because I really need to get, oh, I really need to get winter clothes because today in Atlanta, oh, why was it 37 degrees? Is that not diabolical? <laughs> so yeah, I'd pack my lunch, dinner, and snacks so I could potentially save some money. <laughs> um, let me show y'all what I packed. For lunch, I pack chicken, rice. Oh, this is my dinner. Chicken, rice, and green beans. Oh, and before I show y'all what else is in my lunchbox, this is my lunchbox. Got it from Amazon. It was like $23. Can't beat that. It has a lot of storage. It has the extra space that I needed just in case I had extra things that I want to stuff in my lunchbox. On the side, you can stick your drinks. As you can see, I have a Olipop and an essential water. Also has another side where you can stick stuff in as well. It comes with two straps, which are tangled up at the moment, and a front pocket. Oh, actually two front pockets. So you can stow different things. And then right here, I just stole my Greek dressing. 
because I had a lot of compartments to store things in. So I'm gonna open up the lunchbox and show y'all what's in here. Okay, so inside the lunchbox, I have some cut up strawberries. I made three salads, three Greek salads. Let me show y'all what that looks like. I'm definitely about to eat one right now. Yeah, so this is what my salad looks like. I have feta cheese, Kalamata olives, um, grape cherry tomatoes, cucumbers, some pepperoncinis, and then lettuce. And I'm gonna eat that with my green salad dressing. And then also I have more fruit. I have watermelon, which I need to go ahead and eat that because as you can see, it's a lot of juice. And then I just have some grapes. So yeah. It's currently what's in my lunchbox. I am trying to save money. Um, it's about time for me to find another apartment. My lease is almost up. And I feel like two years in that one spot is enough. I don't want to get stagnant. I don't want to get stuck. Um, so yeah, it's time to do something different. So maybe we'll go apartment hunting. I don't know, cause I'm stuck. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Um, I'm stuck between getting another spot or moving back home for a little while so I can stack up for a house. Because truth be told, I spent about 10 days in my apartment. So, I don't really feel like it's worth all the money that I'm spending for that apartment that I never see. But I also am torn between my independence and me going back home. You know, cause I just love being on my own. Not to say that I can't be on my own at home because my father does not bother me <laughs> so there's that but yeah i don't know guys i figure it out but as of right now i'm about to take my uniform off take a shower eat go to bed i'll call y'all back tomorrow when it's time to do something on our layover i uploaded a vlog yesterday it was my flight attendant vlog number five i think but I am really backed up on vlogs, y'all. So I need to get flight attendant vlog number six out. So I think I'm gonna spend my morning editing and putting that vlog up. Cause I'm still on my Zoom, okay? <laughs> I'm still on my Zoom. And we aren't far from a thousand subscribers and I'm trying. Ooh, if I can reach a thousand subscribers before this year's out, I'm going to scream. Y'all know how long it's been since I've been trying to get to a thousand subscribers and I'm like so close finally. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and if I have the energy, I might start tonight, but it's already almost one o'clock in the morning. So yeah, more than likely I'll do that in the morning and then need to see about making those reservations for the pottery class. But yeah, y'all, call y'all back in the morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. It's the next day, and I've already learned a valuable lesson. Don't pack watermelon in your lunchbox when you're getting on the plane. I bought a fresh pack of watermelon the day before yesterday and it's sour. Ew, oh my God, y'all. I'm pissed because I really wanted that watermelon. But it is like 10.30 in the morning. I don't have my glasses on if I'm looking crazy. <laughs> Maybe I should put those on. Cause y'all know, the eyes get a little wonky when we had the glasses on. 
Also, I left my MacBook charger <laughs> at home. So, my idea of waking up, eating my breakfast, and editing a vlog, <laughs> might be a little slim. Now, I do have my iPad charger, which can charge my MacBook, but for some reason, y'all, that thing takes like 24 hours just to charge her up. I put it on last night. At like one? Oh, it's coming on. So let's see how far it's, it's charged. If it charged it fully to where I can use it, I, I'll be surprised. Never mind, it's fully charged. I don't have an excuse. 100% battery. And it's 10.58. So I guess I am about to edit. Thank you, iPad charger, okay? So yeah, I'm about to edit Fine Tending Vlog number six. Get that uploaded. And then after that, it may take me a couple hours. So I'm gonna say around two. Around two. Around two o'clock, depending on how much footage I have for this next one. Because I don't know where I was. I might have been in Chicago. It might be the Chicago vlog. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. I've been a little bit everywhere. But yeah, um, I go ahead and get that uploaded. And then at that point, it should be a little bit warm outside. I can see the palm trees blowing in the wind. So that means it's a little windy. Luckily, I have me a cardigan or something to put on my arms but after that we should be headed to the pottery class because i want to do that early and when i went and looked online it said that you don't have to call for a reservation but i'm gonna go ahead and call just to save my spot it's only one of me and i need that tourist package because the tourist package lets you do the wheel and take your piece the same day it's like a make or break fashion because they can't put it in the fire to seal it. And normally when you go to a pottery class, you have to wait two or three weeks and come back and get your piece. Then finish like, I think it's called a killing. Put it in the killing, which is like the fire. And then you'll be able to paint it. That way it's like a hard, hard piece. But you know, fights in life. I may not be able to come back in two or three weeks. So, yeah, I'm going to get the tourist package so I can do everything in one day. If my piece breaks, it breaks. Hopefully, it's not because I'm going to take care of the thing that I make because I am proud of that thing, you know? So, yeah, let me get on to part one of my day. And then we're going to go outside. Y'all know the drill. Call y'all back. Y'all better answer. Y'all better answer. Because we're going outside in Tampa. We're going to have fun. <laughs> Okay guys, I am back. I have fully woken up from a slumber, edit my entire flight attendant vlog. It is flight attendant vlog 006, visiting Chicago. Oh, I just relived that moment of being in Chicago and I really loved it. But right now it's about to be seven o'clock. I think the vlog is currently uploading. It should almost be done. Let's check on that. Because I can't leave here to go to my pottery class until my vlog uploads. That was the deal that I made with myself. So let's see where we're at. Okay, okay, it has uploaded. Now it's processing to HD. So, go watch that vlog. Go watch the vlog. <laughs> so yeah, since the vlog has now uploaded, I have my outfit on. Nothing special, just my cargo pants and a gray t-shirt. I'm going to throw on a green jean jacket just because it looks like it's a tad bit windy outside. 
and I don't want to wear anything that I would be upset about it getting clay on it so yeah I'm about to leave my hotel room catch y'all at the pottery class it is called drip but I'll let y'all know everything about the details and y'all will see what's going on when we get there <laughs> make it look a little smoother because I'm being a little aggressive. Okay. Notice I keep wetting my hand, mm -hmm. kind of like Play-Doh, the more you play with it, it dries up. Okay. So if it feels dry, sticky, tacky, any friction, mm -hmm. means we need water. I also, so I'm about centered now, I also want you to keep your elbows on your legs. Knees, okay. hips, anywhere mm -hmm. in the air, they fly around so you wobble. Okay. And then this is your foot pedal, we keep it on top though, because we don't want your foot to get stuck in mm -hmm. teeter-totter, this all crazy while your hands are doing delicate work. Okay. But you're still in charge. Up first, fast is the way to go. It's like we're speeding up the car. The more you like it, we baby it. You can slow it down, all the way down, turn it off if you're scared. Okay. So your first step is you're gonna wet your hands. You're just gonna use one finger to find the center. If you're fine, wait until you're still. Slowly push down. You wanna get close to the bottom without piercing the bottom. Okay. noises happen he, he, he. <laughs> so I was just checking it so I'm gonna make a line now your left hand wet it because it's gonna caress your piece you don't want to choke it okay. caress it okay so I'm on your hand that same finger that went inside now goes back inside but instead of pushing you pull towards your belly okay. I think you're pretty good you might be too good but we'll find out in a second okay. just open it up until where that line is I'm gonna is there anything in specifically you want to learn or are you just feeling it oh I'm just feeling it Maybe like a bowl or something. That's okay. If you want, you can actually just open it up by opening on your thumb. Slowly just pull straight. Out. Yeah, put it in notes and then like screenshot it also. Put like notes on the actual iPad. Check the bottom now that I can see. And so notice that this part here, I like to have just pull with my index. And so the top is perfect. We want the bottom to match too. Okay. And then this stays flat because this is going to be our base. Okay. The bottom of our best. Now actually, I want you to do a little backwards now. So this one, hold on, I'm just making sure the bottom's good. Bye, have a nice day, take care. This one's going to hold it. This thumb goes here on top of your hand and you're gonna use your inside fingers to push that bottom part a little bit more. Don't slip up, just stay there. It's almost until your fingers are straight up and down. No more pushing down. You're opening and stretching towards you. If you push down anymore, we'll hit this.
is a cop Saying he home, but I know where he at Like, but he blowing her back Think about me, cause he know that it's fat Yeah And it been with it been huh. Pulling his phone like he'll send me a pin Look at my shit, cause he know what I'm on God. But when he hit me, I'm not gonna respond God. But I don't sleep enough without you And I can't eat enough without you huh. If you don't speak, does that mean we're through? Huh. Don't like sneaky shit that you do That was so much fun. Y'all have to come to Drip. I really enjoyed that and the instructor is great. Yeah. Might be my new thing. Okay. I am back in my room. Y'all, that was a 10 out of 10 experience. Literally, everything that I thought doing pottery would bring me brung it. It was a sense of peace, learning something new, trying new things, checking something off my bucket list. I had so much fun and I didn't actually end up doing the tourist package because the instructor was telling me that it would be a little more expensive to do the tourist package and then I wouldn't get to keep my piece. I would have to like get another piece and paint it. And I want to keep my bowl. I work hard on it. So I will be coming back. She said it should be ready in two or three weeks, but they'll keep it up to three months. So I'm just going to have to come back so they can fire it up and then I can paint it and take it with me because, baby, I'm eating out that bowl. I will work for that bowl. <laughs> but I had so much fun, y'all. I got clay all over me. It's on my camera, on my phone, but I don't mind. I don't even care. I had so much fun. It's one in Decatur, back at home, and I might try that one. I don't know. I don't know. I might just keep coming back here because it was so much fun, and I really enjoyed that. But, yeah, y'all, I'm about to take a shower, pack my bag. Then time is at 630. I think I have two flights tomorrow. I think we're going from here to Detroit and then Detroit to L.A., I was just in LA literally a week ago. But yeah, I'll see y'all in LA because this is not a flight attendant vlog where I show y'all what I'm doing at work. We are having fun on our layovers. Period, okay. <laughs> so I'll call y'all back tomorrow in LA. Pick up, okay? Cause the line ain't busy. The, li the line not busy, so pick up. <laughs>